Hey, I'm Matt and welcome back to Soil Lab. I wanted to spend some time today giving you a mid-trial update in our nitrogen by iron trial that we have here behind us. I've been going through your comments and I hear what you're saying loud and clear. So today we're gonna get a drone up in the air so that you can see better the plot differences. And I'm gonna walk you through each of the treatments and just give you some of my general observations. So to recap, we have 50-50 urea and ammonium sulfate, followed by ammonium sulfate, no nitrogen, and then urea. Where I'm standing right now, or here just next to me, this treatment got no nitrogen, so I want to be sure you take a close look at that. Any color differences we see in this third row here is going to be due to those iron treatments alone, and I want to be sure that we get a good look at those and discuss those. One of the things that I've noticed throughout this whole study is we get a really quick green and a quick jump of growth from that straight ammonium sulfate treatment. The urea treatment is a little slower grow, but still a pretty quick burst of, uh, burst of growth. And then that 50-50, uh, as you might expect, is somewhere in the middle. Um, I think overall turf quality has probably been best in the ammonium sulfate uh, or the 50-50 study. One thing to note is that there's really no long, slow release uh, nitrogen sources here. So we are applying on an every five week uh, interval. You might be wondering, well, how long has it been since you fertilized? This is just over two weeks after treatment. We're actually at 15 days after our last nitrogen and iron treatment. So that's what you're looking at today. Now, today's gonna be a discussion, no data, but we have pulled soil samples and we're gonna go over all of that soil analysis at the end of the study. All right, so now let's address some of your comments and maybe some of the challenges that we've seen along the way. One of the main comments we got was in regards to why we were doing a foliar application and then washing it off. And I guess really simply, we were spraying it on and washing it off because we are gonna be collecting soil test data. We were trying to get that iron into the soil. Now, I know you've seen a hundred videos if you're watching this one, where you know that if you apply foliar iron, let it dry on the surface, you're gonna get that immediate rapid dark green color. We were trying to drive that iron off the leaf surface down into the soil and pick that up with our soil tests. We do have a mix between granular applications and foliar, so we're really focusing on that soil iron that's bioavailable. Another challenge that we've had is the heat this summer. Um, we're here in Southeast Washington State. I'm actually on the Wall Law Community College campus right now. And this is the hottest, most persistent summer I can remember. We've been well over 100 degrees um, consistently for five weeks or so. Upper 90s has been a cool day for us. And so irrigation management has been a little bit of a struggle, but we're doing our best. Now, another challenge that you're likely seeing, and I know you'll see it from that drone shot, is that we had some warm season grasses come in much more aggressively than we would typically see here in this region. So we do have some Bermuda grass that's come in. We've certainly got some crab grass that jumped up. That's something else that we've been challenged with. So as you're looking at these colors, try to look at that cool season, that Kentucky blue, that perennial rye, and maybe just try to train your eye not to look at that crab grass and that, that Bermuda. Certainly more aggressive than we anticipated. All right, so you've seen the nitrogen treatments and it turns out nitrogen still turns grass green. So now let's talk about these different iron treatments that we have and start to look at those differences across our nitrogen treatments. The first one that we have here right in front of me uh, was, was iron lignin sulfonate. So that was a foliar application that we immediately washed in. This has been one of our top performers throughout the entirety of the study. Um, we get a pretty good deep green. You can definitely see the differences of this lignin sulfonate against the other treatments in the strip that uh, received no nitrogen. Um, and the, the plot next door actually received ferrous sulfate or iron sulfate, which has long been a standard. In terms of the lignin sulfonate across the nitrogen treatments, do I think there's a top performer? It's either the ammonium sulfate or the 50-50 urea ammonium sulfate combo with the lignin sulfonate that have been some of our top performers to date. Now let's move back and look at our next treatment. So here we are with our ferrous sulfate granular application that's across each of those same nitrogen treatments. And this one has not been one of our better performers. We're not seeing a uh, really deep green on the ferrous sulfate plot alone. Um, I think most of the green that we're seeing here in our other plots um, is gonna be from that nitrogen application. So really, until we get soil test data, I don't have a lot to report on our ferrous sulfate treatment. 
All right, as we continue to move down the plots, our next treatment or our next strip uh, is a chelated iron product. This is iron EDDHA. Um, and this one, uh, especially one, two, three weeks after application, has given us our deepest, deepest green. And I think you can see that in the no nitrogen strip here uh, that I'm standing next to. One thing that's notable about the EDDHA that we've received and we've used is the, the liquid mixture takes on a really deep red color. And so once we've sprayed this on, washed it into the soil, we still do see some red tinge um, on our leaf blades. It tends to wash away after about two or three irrigation cycles, but that's something that's pretty unique about the product that we've used here. That being said, look at how deep green we're getting from that uh, EDDHA iron treatment. Um, this is probably the deepest green color we've got in combination with our ammonium sulfate and that urea ammonium sulfate mixture. Now this plot right in front of me is a really important pot plot to pay attention to. This is our untreated control. It has received no nitrogen and no iron. So this is what we really should be visually comparing everything against and this is certainly what we're going to be comparing all of that soil test data against as well. So what does a lawn look like in Walla Walla if we haven't fertilized it all season and it's been 100 degrees? This is what we're looking at right here. You can see the nitrogen alone is giving these adjacent plots a nice deep green even without the iron treatments um, but no fertilizer whatsoever we've got a lot more weed pressure in here and really kind of a pale green to yellow color uh, really poor turf quality and health all right, and now in our next plot, this is one that's kind of snuck up on me and surprised me a little bit through the course of this study. This is actually our ironite treatment. Um, I didn't expect to see much of a response from this, granulated, uh, from this granulated iron, but you can see compared to that untreated control, we are getting a, a, a green response. It wasn't that immediate green up like we saw with the chelated or foliar applied um, iron products, but certainly we are getting a deeper green. I'm really excited uh, to look at this soil test data to see how, how that ironite has been performing and releasing in the soil. So again, great look at how that granular product slowly but surely through time has given us a little deeper green. Now, I mentioned earlier that we've been struggling with some Bermuda grass. Um, this north end of the plot, so where I'm at and behind me, is really the worst of it um, that we've seen. So again, try to use your mind's eye a little bit like I am to look at those desirable species in there, and that's the green we're really trying to evaluate. So now I'm standing near the edge of this, this plot, this demo plot, and this treatment was our iron EDTA. Um, kind of a standard that we go to quite often. Like the lignin sulfonate and EDDHA, this is foliar applied and then irrigated in immediately after washing that off the leaf. I expected to see a little bit more of a deep green from this one. Um, I would say that it's a little greener and a little better shape than our untreated control, um, but not quite the green response um, that I had expected. Again, maybe my eyes are tricking me because of the Bermuda grass here a little bit, but the iron EDTA is performing, maybe just not up to what I expected. So have we been surprised a little bit here? Absolutely. We've been a little bit surprised by the weather um, and, the, and the inherent weed pressure from that weather. Um, but overall, this iron by nitrogen demo is going really well. We've pulled mid-study data already. That's processing at the lab right now. We'll pull data later this fall after two more fertilizer applications. And we'll be back to present um, kind of our final thoughts as well as our final data set to you. We really appreciate all of you watching and following this along. I love doing demos like this. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, comment below what your thoughts are and what you'd like to see in our final video. And with that, I'll look forward to seeing you again soon in the lab.